Beardsley Bears, Beardsley Bears. Good. Ooh, you went away. Are you there? <laughs> oh, there you are. It sounded like good morning. Oh, because I was yelling. Sometimes that does happen. The louder we are, the quieter we get. Hmm. The magic of our um, assembly. Well, boys and girls, it is Friday, May 21st. <sighs> Miss Martha, I'm kind of sad. You know, it's very bittersweet. There's lots of things to be excited about for the end of the year, but there's also some things that make us feel a little bit sad and that's okay because we've come a long way. A long way. Yes, we have. And I'm, I'm happy. It's like a happy sad, you know, well, we made it. Like we have one more assembly. Don't worry, guys. You get us next week again. You get us a lot next week, actually, don't they, Miss Mata? But we're going to wait to share all that. Because boys and girls, well, you know what? Let's start with our flag salute. And then we just have all kinds of, of good stuff to share with you today. So Miss Mata. I'm ready. Here. I'm unrolling it. Here we go. I'm going to turn it over to you, Miss Mata. All right, everybody. If you could please put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right. Well, boys and girls, you know, we we kind of felt bad because last week we it wasn't one of our best showings. <laughs> Our assembly was, was kind of boring. It was kind of like a like a quick drive by assembly. It was just like a zoom by, like hi, I gotta go. Okay, yeah, it kind of felt like that. Like we were like, woo! It started and then it was over. It was yeah, and it wasn't even. We didn't even laugh really. Yeah, so we're sorry. We're sorry. Today's gonna be better. It is. And we're guaranteed a chuckle. <laughs> should we should we start off with a little chuckle? Well, I think we should. I think, you know, there's no better time than the present to share a little laughs with people, kids, staff. So before we get to all of the information, because, you know, it's the end of the year. We don't have as long of an assembly. Next week we will have our, it's our student of the month. Um, so we will have a longer assembly, but we wanted to add in a little fun. And we haven't done our jokes for a while, Miss Mappa. Yes, and I was actually inspired by a couple of jokes that I had happened to hear this week. And I thought, you know, these are so funny. We have to throw them into our assembly. Throw them into the assembly. Well, should we say a few now and maybe a few after all of our fun information? Okay. Do you want to go first or do you want me? Because I, I have a funny one. I think your funniest one should be at the very end. Okay. Okay, but all of mine are funniest. <laughs> they are. It was very that very hard to choose, but mm -hmm. I'm thinking of one in particular. I know. I think I'll wait till the end, but I'll I'll start. You want me to start? Okay. Maybe we could do maybe we could do two each. Now, do you have three? I have three. I have three. Okay, so maybe we could do two now, and then we could each do one after all the information to bring them back. The grand finale. The boom. Okay. Boys and girls, why did the chicken cross the playground? Well, why did the chicken cross the playground? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. <laughs> That was a belly roller. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was a funny one. Did that any of you guys get it? Oh, I see a couple of hands. Did you really get it? Or are you just tricking us? Okay, Miss Mazi, your turn. Your turn. All right. All right, here we go. Why? Oh, no, not why. What do you call a cow in an earthquake? Moo. Moo. 
a cow moving. You call him a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> a cow in an earthquake is a milkshake. That's funny. I, that I funny. thought that one was pretty good. Drink your milk, folks. But not in an earthquake. And I usually get my milk by drinking a milkshake. I'm sure it's just as healthy. <laughs> I'm sure there's some vitamins in there somewhere. Yep. That was a funny one, Miss Month. Okay, I have one more. Tell us why is why are let me start over. Okay, why are ghosts ooh, ghosts bad liars? Why are ghosts ooh, bad liars? Because they say boo. No, but that's kind of funny. They do say boo. Because you can see right through them. <laughs> That's a knee slapper. That's a knee slapper. See right through them. You know what they're thinking. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> that was okay. really good. All right. I got another All one. Right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. How much does a chimney cost? Chimney, chim, chim. Chimney, chim. How much does a chimney cost? It doesn't cost a thing because it's on the house. <laughs> <laughs> the chimneys are on the house, free. Doesn't cost a thing. That was a good one. Why <laughs> the chimney is on the house. And you're right. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, on the house means free. <laughs> That's right. That's funny. I think they're like probably, yes. At least a smile. Half a smile. I don't know how to do half a smile. How do you do half a smile? Okay. I don't wink. I don't Well, boys and girls, like we said, it's not gonna be the longest assembly, but we do have some fun information for you. And you know what we're gonna call that this week? What are we gonna call it, Miss Mata? We're going to call it, ah! oh, oh my gosh, I almost did it again. Did you almost fall? I almost did, but I caught myself. We're going to call it some good news today. Not me falling. Caught myself this time, but we do have some good news. I know, boys and girls. I know. I've told her all year, all year. I need a chair with no wheels. Uh, Miss Mata, what's behind you? Oh, yeah. It was actually the other way. Oh, oh, yeah. That, there they are. Oh, there's a chair <laughs> over there, too. Sorry. <laughs> I have lots of chairs in here. Okay, let's move on to our good news. <laughs> All right. Are we ready, Miss Romero? We're ready. Okay, so... Instead of sharing news that are specific to just one class, we thought we would share some good news. That's for everybody. Who doesn't like good news, especially when it go is all about you? You and you and you. That's right. So, friends, next week is our last week of school. The last five days. And guess what? We've got something going on every single day of the week next week. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. What? So buckle yourself in. Hold on to your chairs because we got a lot to tell you. I think she's giving her own herself advice, boys yes. and girls. We don't fall out of our chairs, do we? But we'll listen. It's my buckle experience. Up. It's my experience that I'm sharing to let you know to buckle your seatbelts because there's a lot that's going to happen this week, this next week. All right. Okay, here we go, everybody. On Monday, we have open house coming. Now, open house is exciting, but guess what? It's going to be a little bit different this year. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to show us something. Okay. I was just going to say open house in your school, and I was going to open the school for them today. Okay, do it. Okay, ready? Let's do it again. Guess what? We, on Monday, we are going to have open house. <gasps> Ooh, look at all those goodies in there. Just like our real open house.
house. Oh, that's so cute. And we get to see what they're doing in the classroom. That's right, everybody. So your teachers are hard at work at putting presentations together that kind of summarize your whole entire school year. So those links are going to be sent out to families on Monday. And you don't have to look at it on Monday, although you could. But you can look at it at any time with your family all that week because there's so much good stuff. And you may want to look at it more than once. I think Ms. Romero's getting a little distracted. I just, I, I'm excited because the teachers are working with the students and they're, like you said, going to provide an open house of everything they have done this year in school. That's right. So look for that in your emails on Monday and your parents will be getting those links and you can watch it together. Just like you watch our assemblies together, you can watch all about open house. Absolutely. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I'm really, it's going to be different. Like you, I, we've seen some sneak peeks of, of students um, and their presentations and I'm pretty impressed. Yes, yes. Super excited. So um, all the hard work by teachers and students, um, you get to shine and show everything you have done, which is awesome and learned because a lot of it's technology based and things you didn't know a year ago at this time. You didn't that know how to do some of the stuff. Right. That is so right. Now yeah. I see kids. I was in a classroom walking by the other day and there was a student working on a jam board. And I said, what are you doing? And he says, I'm working on my jam board. And I was like, wow, I bet he never knew what a jam board was mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year. And now he's a pro. He was so comfortable with it. He was just like just working along. So that's great. So that's awesome. that is on Monday. So on Tuesday, we are having our traditional movie day. Movie. And what movie day is, is normally, was I going to do this one? I'm going to do this one. Okay. Go for it. Go for movie it. Movie day is normally for, um, we get to choose our movies based on attendance and participation on our state testing. But again, including all classes. Well, this year we're virtual. So can you guess how we're going to watch a movie? You got it. On your Chromebooks virtually and we're not going to be able to switch classes but your teachers probably have already maybe been communicating with you and your families about the movie they will be showing on Tuesday so look to your teachers for the time and the movie your teacher that's right so Monday open house Tuesday movie day on Wednesday, the third day of the week, we are going to have two events. We have our very last spirit day, which is... Let's see if they remember. Okay, our very, we did mention it last week. Oh, can you guess? There's some big hints right there from Ms. Romero. She's got her lay and she's dancing. Oh, I think I hear it. You are right. It is Hawaiian Day on Wednesday. So you get to come to your class dressed in your best Hawaiian dress up. And it's also our trimester awards for our TK to fifth grade classes. So the, the link to that was already sent out to families. I'm sure Ms. Romero will be sharing it in her parent memo. But look for that link for our trimester awards. And your teachers will be sharing the little flyer, the digital flyer for our Hawaiian day on Wednesday. You're right. Yes. That is a lot. And now we're up to after Wednesday is Thursday. You got it. On Thursday, our eighth graders are promoting. Oh, they are leaving our school, but they are on to bigger and not maybe better, different experiences in high school. So we are going to have an eighth grade walkthrough promotion ceremony on Thursday for all of our eighth graders. So congratulations, congratulations. to all our fabulous eighth graders. Yes. And that brings us to Friday, the last day of school. 
we're can't leave out our other middle schoolers. Our sixth and seventh graders will be having their own end of year awards assembly where we will honor students for GPA as well as our eighth graders are going to have their last day on campus in the park together. That's right. Boy, that was a lot. And that is a lot of good news for sure. So to recap, we have, what do we have on Monday? We have, I think I heard it. You are right. We're having open house on Monday. On Tuesday. That's our, if you don't know, we're uh, shooting a film by doing that. It is movie day on Tuesday. That's movie right. day. On Wednesday, we've got Hawaiian day. And we've also got our trimester awards for TK to five. On Thursday, we've got our walkthrough promotion for our eighth graders. Yes. And on Friday, we have our awards assembly for our sixth and seventh grade, as well as our last day, for our eighth graders in the park. And just our last day of school in general for our entire school. That is some good news, Miss Mata. So exciting. Very exciting. And boys and girls, we are so, so happy. Um, and don't forget, we also on Friday have Student of the Month Awards Assembly. That's with, right. Oh my gosh, we forgot to say that. With us. That's right. You know, Miss Mata, that was great news. Hold on, I'm going to take this off. I don't know how we're going to top our assemblies when we're back in person. I don't know if it's possible. It's been fun. It has been fun. We still have one more, so let's not get too sad about it yet. We still have one more. That's right. But boys and girls, that's a lot of information. We know it, but you guys have been working hard. You continue to work hard. We're super, we continue to see great things happening in the classrooms. So keep it going. You have one more week. Just because there's fun events doesn't mean we stop learning. Doesn't mean that there's, there's no more instruction. There still is. We just want to also reward you for a great year. But, and recognize you. But with that said, I think it's time to make them laugh again. Yes, we have two more jokes to share with you. Is it okay if I go first this time? Why, yes, you can. Okay, for my final joke, here we go. It's got a little bit of history weaved in there, so hopefully my history uh, people will catch it. Here we go. How did Benjamin Franklin feel when he discovered electricity? Hmm. Super duper happy. I'm sure he was, but he also felt shocked. <laughs> Could you do that again? How did Benjamin Franklin feel when he found uh, uh, when he discovered electricity? <laughs> Shocked. <laughs> that was funny. We don't have instant replay, so I had to do it say the joke again so she could do that again. That's funny. I see you guys laughing. She uh, Do you guys know who Benjamin Franklin is? Well, now you better cuz we just told you in the joke. <laughs> That's right. right. He discovered electricity. Maybe your teachers can give you a short little story about Benjamin Franklin and how he discovered it after that joke. Okay, I got one. <sighs> We're ready, Miss Romero. Okay. <laughs> what do you call a bear with no teeth? I think your teeth are missing. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A cub. Mm -mm. A gummy bear. <laughs> That's a funny one. Huh? I had to get uh, in the in the moment. I had to tell her <laughs> too. That was a really good one. I think gummy bears have, don't have teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna stick that one in the back of my brain. As a joke, I'm gonna remember because that's a good one. But if you say the joke, you have to say it like that. What do you call a bear with no teeth? <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> okay, boys and girls. Well, we hope we made you laugh a little. We hope we had a little more energy today. We're yes. super excited about next week. It is still hard to believe that we're almost at the end of May. But guess what? We did it. 
We and did. we're going to continue doing it next week. So with that said, are you ready to stretch? I am. And I'm going to send my chair way out of the way. Very smart idea. I was just checking to make sure she was okay. Yes. Right. Reach for the ceiling. Miss Mott, that looks like your hands in the light. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, that was kind of, it like disappears. Oh, it looks like you're going into like a, like a hole. Okay, ready? Touch your toes. And stand up and roll your shoulders back. And roll them forward. And put your arms out and roll them forward. And roll them back. And walk it out. And run. Okay. Woo! Side to side. Side to side. Good job, Miss Mata. Okay, boys and girls, it is time. Are you ready, Miss Mata? Oh, I almost forgot. In one, two, three. Up! And again, one, two, three, ah, oh, Where'd you go? Oh, there she is. I thought we lost you. Here. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready, boys and girls? Here we go. In one, two, three. I can and I will. Have pride in myself and my school. I can and I will. Have a positive attitude. I can and I will. Make wise choices. I can and I will. Act safely. I can and I will. I can and I will. I can and I will. Make it a great day, boys and girls. The choice is yours. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And we will see you back on Monday. Wait, Bye don't stop everybody. it. Yet. Wait, don't stop it. We got to get in our.